Hello! My name is Shereen Hinzi. Thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Viral KVD Good Apple Foundation. I ordered mine on Sephora's website. I saw that they had a couple of the light shades in stock. This was the lightest one that they had in stock and I'm looking at it like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work for me, but I kind of swatched it on my face to see if it'll match and I think it'll be okay. I got mine in the shade light 01 2 and it said that it was for light skin tones with neutral undertones this foundation has blown up on tiktok blown up everywhere it is seriously sold out all over the place so the fact that i saw it on sephora's website after it's blown up i was quite shocked and i jumped on this bandwagon <laughs> real quick my good friend ivory cherry actually reviewed it and i definitely trust her opinion when it comes to this foundation a lot of people have really enjoyed it but she didn't and i feel like i'm gonna feel the same way when it comes to this foundation my skin right now is normal to combination as it's getting warmer i am starting to experience a little bit more oil coming through um, and earlier in the year i had mentioned that i was more dry since being on a stronger formula with my curology all i have on my face right now is moisturizer and i moisturizer <laughs> moisturizer and eye cream and we're gonna go ahead and dive in and see how this foundation wears on my face. On one side of my face, I'm going to be using the Sigma F80. I absolutely love this brush. It is amazing. And then on the other side, Ivory used a microfiber sponge. She said that it actually worked better with this. So this is the Juno & Co microfiber sponge and I'm going to try it out with this today. Do I put a primer on? Let's put a primer on one side of my face. On one side of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and see if this helps at all. I'm gonna put it on, this is my left side here. I know, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna put it around my nose because I know that's where it's gonna break up really bad. As you can see, I have this major zit. And I do like putting eyeshadow primer on my eyelids when I'm putting foundation or concealer, anything like that on. I have super oily eyelids. So I wanna give everything its best chance. So I always put eyeshadow primer on my eyeballs. I'm curious to see how it looks with the microfiber sponge. So I think I'm going to use that first. I'll use the microfiber sponge on this side of my face and then I'll use the brush on this side with the primer. So here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I haven't even patted it in yet. I'm just swiping. I'm not a fan of how greasy this feels. <laughs> not gonna lie about that. There was someone on TikTok, I'm not sure who their username is, but I'll put the video in, hopefully I remember to, but she tests a bunch of different foundations and how oily they are. And she put this foundation on a oil blotting sheet and oh my gosh, it was super oily. I've watched a bunch of different people review this foundation. And again, I've just seen people say, oh, I really like it. It's great. I don't know. If you know who Tweely is, she was, oh my gosh. Um, she reviewed this foundation and she said it was like burning her face. I don't know if, I don't know. I feel like a little bit of a tingle. I don't know if that's just what's going on there but wow did it cover up that zit it's just settling into a lot of the lines around my face already if you can see i think i have this zoomed in as far as it can go it does look very luminous i'm not a fan of this greasy feeling all right so there it is on one side of my face the color match actually isn't too bad but it is a little dark so I'm just gonna blend this down my neck here so there we go there it is on one side of my face I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush in boop, and see how it goes on with a brush wow it seems to cover up that zit on the side of my face there Here's this huge zit right here. If you have any bit of texture, large pores or anything, it is going to settle into your lines. Like I am not liking how it's looking on 
my chin here. Like, look at this. And I, I've never had a foundation look this cakey from the get-go. The texture. And I'm trying to really conceal this zit and it's not doing the best job of concealing it. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the lights down a little bit, but again, if you just have any bit of texture, any bit of imperfections, you're going to experience clinging like crazy. But I definitely preferred the microfiber sponge for sure. I feel like I got more coverage and it was just a lot easier to blend everything out. But can you see as well, it is just settling into all the lines on my forehead. Is it peeling? I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Concealer and this is in the shade Meringue. I just like this concealer. I've been having a lot of issues with under my eyes lately. I don't know if it's just from getting old or what it is. I am just not a fan of how concealer has been looking on my skin lately. I do feel a little bit of tingling on my forehead and that normally doesn't happen. But under my eyes, I like setting my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm gonna set my T-zone. So here's what everything is looking like so far. Again, this is it right here. It does not look cute and it's settling into all the lines on my forehead. I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Superstay Powder. I'm just gonna take a large powder brush here and I'm just gonna swirl into it and just kind of lightly dab. This one is in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain and this one's light for me, so hopefully it'll lighten up the foundation a little bit. All right, there's what everything is looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of camera and I'll be right back. All right, I've got all of my makeup on. So on my face, I actually have this She Glam Bright Liquid Blush, just to kind of put it on top, just to see how it would work. And it did take off the foundation a little bit. It's not too even on both sides. So I was trying to just blend it out and I don't, I'm still learning how to use liquid blushes and everything, but I just don't, it, it took a lot of the foundation off, so I had to go back in with some more foundation. I used the Essence Contouring Palette for my bronzer contour, and then I have the Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut um, Highlighter on as my highlight. On my lips, I have the Animal Crossing and ColourPop Collaboration. This is the um, lippy, what's it called? The lip crayon in incomparable smells just like pears so that is everything that i have on my face i think i'm going to actually set this with a setting spray because everything just does not look good everything is just settling into my lines as you can see and like all under my eyes and everything just look really creepy as well as like i don't know everything just looks really creepy but like my forehead like I haven't even had this on for two seconds and it's already settling into my fine lines really bad the time right now is 2 15 so I'm going to keep this foundation on as long as I possibly can I'm going to go ahead and do whatever I need to do today the one thing I do like about this foundation oh, I'm going to use the Catrice HD active setting spray the one thing I do like about this foundation is just how quick it is to apply. If you are running late, running out the door, literally you take your microfiber sponge, boop, 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 and like you are set to go. So I do have to say it is very quick and easy in that way where a liquid foundation, I feel like I'm just blending for days where this is like, you're good to go. So that I do like. And I do have the got to be glued um, gel in my eyebrows with just a little bit of the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Tinted Brow Gel just kind of swept through there. On my nails, I have the Impress um, brand new glue already on press on nails. I've gotten so many compliments in person 
about my nails and this is in the shade I don't know what shade but I'll put it on the screen um, but I've never been a fan of the pre-glued nails these have been on my hands for like almost two weeks love this new impress glue situation that's going on because it's so much better <laughs> So I thought I would show you what the foundation is looking like in natural lighting. Hopefully this adjusts. Maybe I don't want to be like right smack in a window. I don't know what exactly it's all looking like. So that's what it's looking like right now. Oh my god. Careful. Actually the foundation is looking... I was rollerblading and stuff and... The oils and everything actually help settle it into my skin. I don't know. It's looking a lot better now. Hmm. This foundation is definitely changing, but I wore a mask and it's definitely not mask proof, that's for sure. That's Careful! It's 4.30. I think I have a bug in my eye. Yo, look at how deep this is. I know. We found this super cool forest behind my house exactly ain't nobody want to hear about no damn foundation <laughs> we got we got the trees <laughs> <my phone. laughs> that's about it we got some trees and some water <laughs> thanks <laughs> hello the time is now 10 11 and that means i've had this foundation on for almost like we're a couple minutes short of eight hours and Ah, uh, this looks interesting. I had to wear a mask a couple times. I mean, that's the reality of the situation right now. Um, as you guys saw, I was outside, so I was doing my own thing and all that stuff. But holy crap, this stuff is crazy oily. Like, my eyelids are completely gone. My boyfriend asked me, he's like, where are all the foundation going on your face? Because, like, everything under my eyes looks horrible my eyes look horrible all of this looks terrible my eyebrow creases look horrible all of this looks terrible as you remember this was the primed side and I really I mean maybe the foundation and the blush and everything stuck a little bit better on this side but I'm not really noticing anything fantastic I'm just not liking how my under eyes look like this looks terrible good morning it is the second day that I'm going to be wearing the cap on the foundation my camera battery is completely dead so I can't even use my DSLR so I'm using my vlogging camera hope you don't mind and plus this is you've already seen me apply the foundation and everything but here's what I, my skin is looking like I broke out here and here from the foundation yesterday. My skin is just not looking that fantastic right now, but I made sure to moisturize and I'm really going to prime my skin. So I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm gonna put these like here on my mouth, between my eyebrows, anywhere like my forehead anywhere where I feel like it's gonna crease really bad I'm also gonna put I think I'm gonna try and do my concealer first I have the Tarte ultra creamy concealer this is supposed to be a new formulated concealer from Tarte it's supposed to be a better version of the regular shape tape let's dive in with the foundation and I am using the Juno and Co sponge Leo just jumped up on my lap you don't do that what you doing you come and check out what I'm doing? Here's Leo. Say hello. Oh. I try not to put as much of the foundation on. So let's see what that ends up looking like. I went ahead and set my T-zone and my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And instead of setting it with the sponge, I decided to go in with my little powder puff. This is my Gudetama powder puff. And I just really made sure to like set it in there. I still feel like it's a little crepey looking. And I made sure to really press like around my nose um, and around my chin area. 
And I'm actually going to set the rest of my face how I normally would with my Maybelline Superstay powder. I'm going to be going in with the shade 120 Classic Ivory, which is a little darker than the one I used yesterday. Um, this one's more my skin tone since I'm going to be heavily setting my entire face. So I rub my powder puff in there and I just set like this where yesterday I just set it with the powder brush. And I'm going to set my face with the Catrice HD Active Performance Setting Spray. Let that set in and then I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer, blush and all that stuff and I'll be right back. So here we are. I've got pretty much the exact same makeup on that I had yesterday. Um, but instead of cream blush, I decided to go with powder blush and then I just have mascara on and my eyebrows. So nothing too, too fancy. Here's what it's looking like so far. It looks pretty good. It just looks really luminous and natural. Um, but again, I just don't like how it looks around my eyes. I try to just blend everything out, but it just, I don't know. And the time is 1214. So I set my foundation around like what, 12, 12 ish, maybe 1205, somewhere in that time frame. And we'll see how long I keep this foundation on. I feel like cat here. All right, so I'll check back in in a little bit. Bye. Hello. The time is 4.09, and I was outside again today with my brother. We went to Korean. We're looking around. It was so much fun. But here is what the foundation is looking like. It just feels a little bit heavier today. I don't know if it was because of the setting spray or what exactly, or because it's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday when I wore it. It is 8.30, 8.29. 29. <laughs> that means I've had the foundation on for almost eight and a half hours today and it looks a lot better today after setting it. It's still settling into a lot of the lines here on my face and on my forehead but in my opinion I feel like this foundation was definitely over hyped. It's not one that I think I'm going to gravitate towards just because especially now in the summertime, I don't have that dry of skin. I'm more normal leaning to combination. And I would definitely say this is a lot better for people who suffer from extremely dry skin. It has more of an oily base and moisturizing base, but for the summertime and for right now, I just don't feel like this is a foundation for me. And I don't know if this is gonna work out for everybody else just because I don't know, unless you have normal untexturized skin. Leo. Those are my final thoughts. It definitely didn't crease under my eyes as bad as it did yesterday just based on those changes that I made and everything. Um, but I mean it looks really nice. I just don't think it's very long lasting especially for people who are oily or if you're sweating a lot or doing a lot of things. I definitely put this foundation to the test. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a good time watching this video. The next foundation I think I'm gonna test out is the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. That's another viral TikTok foundation. Also, what are some viral TikTok makeup techniques or hacks or products that you have found? I would love to know. Leave them down below and let me know what those are because I would love to test them out. I'm on TikTok, I got sucked into it. I'm not gonna lie about that. So thank you all so much for watching it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Shay Hinsey, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!